Fibrosis is really scarring in the bone marrow. So what happens in myeloid fibrosis is they're making all of these cells in the bone marrow. But underneath all of that, what's really happening is there's, there's a change in the environment in which these cells live. So there's scarring in the bone marrow, which is progressive and really causes these cells to decide to leave the bone marrow and to develop in potentially other organs like the spleen or the liver most commonly, but it can go to any organ in the body. Myelofibrosis is really one of the most serious of the myeloproliferative disorders because the overall survival with this disease median is about six years. It's also a very rare disease. There are only about 18,000 people in the country who have this disease at any given time. And there's always a risk uh, with this disease that it can transform to a more serious disease, acute myeloid leukemia. There are not a lot of good treatments at this point in time. Um, commonly, we've used treatments such as hydroxyurea to control blood counts or transfusions to support people as their hemoglobin drops or their platelets drop. We have uh, used drugs like interferon in early stages of the disease, um, and there's an FDA-approved drug to treat patients who have large spleens and have a lot of symptoms um, called ruxolitinib or also called Jacophy. There is a great need for more drugs and better treatments for this disease, and it's an area in which we're very dedicated at the MPN Center, where we're trying to put forward clinical trials of new agents and new approaches to treating myelofibrosis. The only cure for myelofibrosis is really a bone marrow transplant, but not everyone is eligible to have a bone marrow transplant. And as this tends to be a disease of older people over the age of 50, the ability to get all of these patients to transplant is not so easy with other comorbid illnesses. And for this reason, we're really working hard on developing new treatments for myelofibrosis uh, at Cornell, both through investigator trials that we have initiated here, or by offering new drugs that are available for the treatment of these diseases.